Hey guys, this is Jared. So today I'm going to show you how to make Flappy Bird in Game Salad. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. Alright, so let's head over to Game Salad, create a new blank project. Make this a little bigger for you guys. Okay, set the title to whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine Flappy Bird Bird 2. Go over to our scenes, double click on the initial scene. Add an actor, we're going to call this one person. Add another actor called top bar. Another actor called bottom bar. Another actor for the spawner. And one last actor for the ground. Now we want to head over to our attributes, create another attribute for a, bool a boolean attribute called game over, and another integer attribute for top bar x. Actually, top bar y, sorry. So now we want to go to our person, drag him and put him on the scene. Double click on him to edit. Set the size to 20 by 20. The position to 100 and 160. And now we want to go back to our initial scene. So head on over to our spawner. Create a timer click and drag that over every let's say six seconds we want to spawn an actor and that actor will be top bar and then copy and paste that and that will be bottom bar and we also want to change an attribute at, and put that before the spawn actors sorry so change attribute top bar y to random parentheses inside those parentheses um, 300 comma 450. Okay, click the check mark. And now we want to set our direct, we want to set our position to 600 for the x value and click on the e and set it to game top bar y and then for our bottom bar we want to set the position to the same and our game top bar y minus 400 that might be a little too much, but we'll see in a minute. Okay. Now we want to go over back to our initial scene and click on the top bar. And we're going to say move to, if I can find that. Okay, move to position uh, zero. Actually, you might want uh, negative 50, we'll say. And set our y to game dot top bar y I'm sorry actually top bar position dot y erase that last one all right now copy that oh and we also want to set our speed to 50 very slow so copy that and head on over to the bottom bar and paste. Now head, go over to our person and we want to say for a rule if the attribute game over 
is true. I mean, is false. Then we want everything to happen. But if it isn't false, I mean, but if it if it's true, then we want to do other stuff. So first, we're just gonna deal with the false. So put another rule inside that rule. Actor receives event touch is outside we're gonna say move to our x position will be 100 and our y position will be a person position dot y plus 30 and set the speed to 300 same difference all right and we act we actually want to put that inside a timer so timer put that move to inside the timer and say 4.2 seconds run to completion make sure that's checked or else they can hold down the button and they would just go over and over again. So run to completion and that will be what that will happen. Okay. Now outside of that rule we want to say accelerate toward position uh, 100 and our y position to just say 30 or 40 no 40 relative to c okay and set our acceleration a little bit higher for flappy bird all right so now let's preview this see what happens so it sort of does the motion like in Flappy Bird. And he goes up, he goes down, so on. All right, now we want to go home. I forgot to put in the spawner to the initial scene, so we won't see any of that stuff. So, so we won't see any of the top bars or bottom bars coming in. So let's just quickly put that in there and try it out again. No battery. All right, so there we have it. So there's that bar coming in, and what is going on? Oh, sorry guys, I also forgot to say that the top bar size should be, the width should be 50, and the height should be 300. So do the same for the bottom bar. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> 50, 300. Now we should see a lot better change. <laughs> so then let's see. Six seconds. There we are. So now we have a gap, and we're trying to get through it. And we don't have anything that happens when you hit the bars or anything. So right now, that's just not gonna happen but there you go that's basically what what the gameplay is but now we want to actually say when it hits something that something happens so we went to go rule again put it outside of all the other rules except for if the game is false we're gonna say if actor overlaps or collides with actor of type top bar and then click the plus at the end say actor receives event overlaps or collides with actor of type bottom bar and say when any conditions are valid then we want to set the at change the attribute game over to fall to true so game game over to true and 
that will basically be it. After that, we want to, after every rule, so that's including the game over is false, we want to change the, say, attribute, the game over is true. Then move actor to, so move, move to position 100 and the Y position to 30. And our speed will be slightly faster than how he usually goes, so 400. So let's preview that. And as you can see, as I'm holding down the mouse, I'm doing that right now. As soon as I click, it only it stops until I'm done holding the mouse. So I hit there, and it drops all the way to the bottom. There we are. The game over is false. So now we actually want to create the ground. Just so it looks like there's something he's falling onto. So make that slightly smaller. Alright, double click on double click that. Set the size to the si the height to sixty. The width to whatever you want, five eighty. Just gonna go with five seventy. Um the position to y equals 0, and the x will be uh, the same. All right. So go back to our initial scene. And we also want to say, because in Flappy Bird, when you actually hit the ground, you do lose, too. So. All right, sorry about that, guys. I accidentally deleted everything inside the person. At, inside the person. So anyway. Um, back to the app, um, we are going to create a new rule that says rule, so create a new rule, actor receives the event, overlaps or collides with actor of type ground. Then we want to change attribute, so change attribute game game over to true and now let's take a look so when you hit the ground you you die game is over and you lose why is he moving that's odd but anyway it's basically what how the game works when you lose here you're flapping along and you have random blocks coming at you and you have to get through the gap and if you hit the gap accidentally then boom you die so you can add more to this such as uh, I don't know scoring and other stuff but anyway this was just a quick tutorial on how to do flappy bird so I hope you enjoyed it anyway guys so that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe and please uh, give me a like I will answer any comments in the comment section down below, so please comment. I like to hear from you guys. So anyway, thanks. Bye.